What's up, everybody? This is Giles, your host of Urban Arts Magazine's podcast. Hey, we have been featuring 40 Under 40. You have 40 amazing artists doing some dope things across the world in theater, dance, music, film, television, visual arts, literary arts, media, all of those amazing things. And today is no different. We have an artist who um, is like global for sure. Um, She's an actress, um, a lighting designer, a singer, um, a host doing some dope, dope things. Help me welcome Tyler Prince. Tyler, how are you? I'm doing well, thank you. How are you? I'm amazing. I'm amazing. Hey, um, so Tyler, um, question: mm-hmm. Who is Tyler Prince? Oh, that's a good question. No, um, Tyler Prince is a young woman who is out here, just a hustler, um, who loves storytelling, who wants to help other people be t- storytellers, and um, just want to, you know, engage the community and outreach and get people involved in any way possible with the arts. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So Tyler, how long have you been in the entertainment industry? I have been in the entertainment industry. I lose count of years now. (laughs) Probably about 10, 15 years. Not well. And that's professionally, right? Yes. Because you started off like as a kid, kid, like singing and dancing. <laughs> yes. I, I got my first check um, in I, middle school, high school. Oh, so wow. that does count. I it still does. have it uh, in a scrapbook. <laughs> you know, me to me. <laughs> um, yes. I started out in doing theater um, oh, nice. in middle school and high school. I've done stage plays in Dallas, Texas. And then um, I moved to Atlanta for school, graduated from Clark Atlanta, where I studied speech communications and theater. And Mm -hmm. after that, I kind of transitioned into film and television indie work. And Mm -hmm. that's where I am now. Nice, nice, nice. So how was that transition coming from like Dallas to Atlanta for college and like really stepping into a program that was grooming you for, you know, what you're doing now? It was pros and cons. I think everything definitely has its pros and cons. Mm -hmm. Um, The one thing that I love about Atlanta is that it kind of reminds me of Dallas. Mm -hmm. Um, I can always find a niche. I can always find a group of people who I can just find love and family in. And that's what I found when I attended Clark Atlanta. Um, Just being there, it, it was nerve wracking. It was different. It was a culture shock. It was just away from home, but home away from home right. and um, being uh, being there and having support system like, OK, well, we're here. We want to support you on whatever you want to do. Uh, this is just an intense learning program, just the higher stuff from what I've done previously. It was it was nerve wracking, but definitely rewarding and fun. Nice. Nice. And then you stayed in Atlanta, uh, which is black Hollywood now. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, you stayed in Atlanta, and now you're like, um, you've done a couple uh, films, a couple web series. I checked your IMDb page, and you have some credits there. That's dope. Um, Tell tell us how that transition was after college into, like, getting into the real meat of Atlanta. So I remember graduating college. I think I took a trip to California. I have family there, and every summer I would go to California. Um, and then I remember, OK, fall semester is starting, but there's no fall semester for me because mm-hmm. I'm a graduate. Mm-hmm. And I knew that I wanted to get back to Atlanta. I didn't know how, but I was going to be here. Mm-hmm. Um, so for, we, I got here. <laughs> it's a long story. But I'm trying to make sure I, I got here. Um, my best friend was here, too. We knew that we didn't. We're both from Texas and we knew we didn't really want to be home. We loved Atlanta and we just had to figure out. We just weren't as prepared as we wanted to be. So right. we uh, <laughs> we got here. We, you know, slept some cars and some friends places. And um, that hustle was definitely embedded in trying to stay focused and get to where I wanted to be. But um, definitely a change to, to get it out, get it for my, myself mm-hmm. was out there. I had to, I was really nervous. I made me really nervous to, um, I had to depend on me. Like it was only right. me for me. Right. to get me where I wanted to be. I couldn't depend on anyone else. I wasn't in a program to push me. Mm-hmm. Like, if this is what you want, this is what you got to go get. And right. yeah. so I would say that move from um, college to 
I guess, real life adulting <laughs> was a, a push, but a push that I needed. Okay. And it was, it's fun. Like I came out here, I did an audition like the first week I was here. I told him my story. I was like, hey, I'm here. I just moved, I guess, technically moved back here, but I'm on my own and I'm ready to work. I did two auditions. I booked them both. I worked on the, that was College Life Atlanta. Shout out to SBS Productions. And another production that I've done, they were, you know, great indie films. And I've been having fun ever since. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. So there was a uh, there was another show that you did, a web series that like kind of went viral called College Boyfriends, right? Yes, College Boyfriends. Tell us about that. Boyfriends is, I definitely will. College Boyfriends is, shout out to Tina. Um, College Boyfriends started at Clark Atlanta University where, um, if she doesn't mind, I'm going to tell her story a little bit. Tina Shakina is super, super powerful. Um we went to school together and she started this project kind of as a, as a project for her class. Mm -hmm. And, you know, once people saw it and got hold of it, it was, it took off like fire. Like everybody loved college boyfriends, even to mm -hmm. this day, college boyfriends is a talk of the town. Mm -hmm. Um, so her first season, I, I went to school with everyone, but I wasn't really there yet. I wasn't really for the web series life. I didn't mm -hmm. want to, and second season happened, third season. I was like, you know what? It's my senior year. I think I'm ready to cross over. I'm going to try out for it. I'm going to audition for it. Let's see what, what it's about. Yeah. Made it. And since then, <laughs> College Boyfriends just tells the story of relationships in college and transitioning from college and how you, um, like how life and difficulties that you have shape your relationships and your friendships even uh -huh. and in that you know, that young adult age right. um so now we're working on making a feature film for it and we have some mini episodes on youtube right. i'm so happy to be a part of that uh moving forward because college boyfriends is such a it's a huge platform uh -huh. um just to tell stories and awareness of college students and graduates of colleges so yeah. Um, I'm happy to be a producer of that as well. Oh, um, producer, come on. Yes, okay. Yeah, <laughs> I'm happy yeah. to, to branch out and learn different avenues of the industry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Speaking of branching out, um, um, I'm going to come back to College Boyfriends in a second. Speaking of branching out, you said that being an actress and a singer is no longer, I mean, not, not the only thing you want to do. You also picked up lighting design along the process. Um, you don't see a lot of black female lighting designers. No. How, how was why? Why did you say lighting design? You could have picked costume design, where we see females going more, more females going into. You know, you could pick, um, you know, makeup and hair, where we see uh, uh, why, why lighting design. Well, I don't have the gift of uh, <laughs> makeup. Like I really try. <laughs> it's just not for me. Okay. I don't wear hair. It's it's not for me. I try get by, but. That's just my like, ministry. Okay. <laughs> um, but with lights, um, a, a very special uh, guy told me that even if you're not on stage, tell the story in another way. If there's time mm -hmm. that you're not on stage, use your tools to and resources because there's always a way to be involved. Right. And I took that to heart. And even in college, if there were productions that I wasn't on stage for, mm -hmm. well, I wanted to be in it in some kind of capacity. And right. lighting struck out to me because mm -hmm. I don't think people realize how much lights actually affect your mood and the story and mm -hmm. help you like draw closer to what you're trying to convey and tell people. So um, just being able to help express in a different avenue, uh, the mood and the characters and the stories mm -hmm. that are going on on stage. And there's, it's just, lighting is fun to me. Lighting right. is and very engaging. I can control um, what you see and what you don't. Mm -hmm. I can control a whole mood and you don't even know that, the right. lights had an impact on what you're getting from that scene. Yeah. Um, it's just, I chose light because one, because I had a great mentor that helped me push me, you know, in that alley. And I was mm -hmm. like, Oh, this is fun. Like I can work the board. I can mm -hmm. hang and focus a little bit. Is it nerve wracking? Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> a little bit because I'm afraid of heights and sometimes ladders aren't strong. Mm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's fun, especially being a black woman and you don't see many people in wow. this or well, like me yeah. in the industry. So it's definitely something that I continue to push forward and, and do. And I'm blessed to be able to say that I have a good resume of designing mm. shows. <laughs> Nice. That's awesome. That's awesome. Um, that's su that's super dope too. Like I I can only think of you and one other. Her name is Rebecca, um, who is a black female lighting designer, and she gets booked all the time because she's dope too. So yeah, um, that's only I can think of. I'm sure there are a ton out there, but I just can't think of anybody right off the top of my head. I only see like a lot of men. Oh, Valencia, Valencia Powell. She's another one. Yeah, for sure. Just yes. Another one. Um, Valencia is dope. Valencia is dope, dope. That's that, that's 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 little sis. Um, but question for you. Um, jumping back to college boyfriends, I'm gonna get off college boyfriends in a second. But jumping <laughs> back to college boyfriends, how is it? How is it? How does it feel to be, you know, out of Atlanta, like in Dallas or New York or LA, and someone's like, "Are you that girl from College Boyfriends?" What does that feel like? Surreal. Um, <laughs> and it. Even so, college boyfriends, just to give y'all some retrospect of how long this has been going, I graduated college in 2015. I think college boyfriends was 2013, 2012, 2013. And um, I joined in 2015. And it's 2022. And even though we've only been in this month 22 days, mm -hmm. yes, I have been pinpointed. <laughs> wow. Being from college boyfriend, it's just like, wow. Uh, <laughs> y'all really, y'all really watching this. It's yeah. cool, and to do it on your own, like it's not right. on a major network. Mm -hmm. It's it's YouTube, right? YouTube, YouTube yeah. is hardworking actors mm -hmm. and um, storytellers who want to just get out there and branch out and tell stories mm -hmm. in a raw way. Mm -hmm. And so, I remember this one time I was in New York and. <laughs> Um, this young lady stopped. We were walking down the streets, and this lady was like, "Hey, uh, are you that girl from College Boyfriends?" <laughs> and at first, it scared me because, like, why is anybody stopping me in New York? Like, New I York. don't know. And this is my first time here. What's right. going on? And um, I love New York, but we know that it can be a little rough. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you don't know. No, I'm just joking. You just don't know. I didn't know it was. It was shocking to me and make my heart flutter. And right. Um, and then a couple of minutes later, we're in the store and the same thing happens. Like it's <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. It's definitely yeah. like a humbling experience. Yeah. And but it also speaks to like the magnitude of that show, you know, like really, really in, 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 like you said, produced independently with that. It's not on Tubi, not on Roku, not on Amazon Prime. It's on YouTube and really just like how that show speaks to that age group. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. dope. That is super, super dope. Super proud of you and the team for sure. Thanks, thanks. Thank yeah. You. Um, so talk to that little girl um who's in middle school, freshman high school, or I mean, let's say let's say that uh, middle school, or high school, and they have this dream of becoming an actress and moving to Atlanta, LA, New York, but everyone is telling them, hey, go get a realistic job. Go, mm -hmm. you know, don't follow your dreams. That's fine for you to do whatever, but don't follow your dreams. You should really, you know, get something more concrete. What would you say to that little girl? You can go, you can only go as far as you want to go. You have to bet on you. You have to put you mm -hmm. first. Mm -hmm. um, put that on a shirt. I bet on me. That's I bet on me. Let's go. Urban Arts, <laughs> <Arson, sorry. laughs> I'm sorry. I bet on me. And that's, yeah. so, that's so real. And Ooh, like unfortunately, I'm, I'm trying to tell you, put me in 10%. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you can get 50. You can get 50. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Um, no, I. it's something that really just clicked for me. I think like these past couple of years has just been reserve you just you don't be reserved like step out of that box do not be afraid to be you and to push out of there and even if someone doesn't agree if you agree if you believe it wholeheartedly it's gonna work in your favor yeah. it, it always will it yeah. always will so don't be afraid to push forward and if someone is telling you no oh baby that's not gonna work for you oh baby that's not gonna work for you you do it for you mm -hmm. like 
and it in an avenue, a road will peel out for you every step. Somebody's gonna be moving bricks and it's gonna make your path follow. So just, yeah. just do it. Do what you need to do for you. I, I bet on me. So you bet on you. You bet on you. I bet on me. Yeah, I'm rooting for everybody black. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna I'm getting on a hoodie. Getting on a hoodie. And <laughs> all that big I bet on me. <laughs> um yeah. Um, oh, bet on black. Okay, okay, we're gonna keep going. Bet on black. Uh, black. That's good. <laughs> I, I, I don't want, I don't know if this is time to tell you, but I got some shirts. We I'm, I'm gonna send it to you. I'm sending a draft to you. Of ideas. Okay. We we doing merch. We doing That's merch. Right. Listen, listen, this be a whole business, whole business here. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Um, so Tyler, what's next? What's next for Tyler Prince? What that's something that Tyler Prince is trying to figure out. No, um, what's next for Tyler Prince? She just wants to continue um, telling stories in every avenue that she can. She wants, I will, <laughs> um, continue to tell indie stories. Like, I really found my niche there. I love telling indie stories, uh -huh. whether I'm acting in it, in it or producing it, because uh -huh. we have voices too, and just because we don't have these huge budgets, there's, <laughs> we deserve to have a voice and yeah. someone to support us in the right direction uh, right. to tell those stories. Yeah. So just more producing, yeah. more acting. Um, I just booked a web series, but I can't. <laughs> we can't talk about it right now, but congratulations. Right now, but I did book a web series. I'm super yeah. excited about it. It's a great story is different for me so that's what i'm really mm -hmm. excited about okay. um and yeah that's producing acting and definitely designing some shows i have a show um march april to mm -hmm. design so I, I i work is just always <laughs> uh it skips my mind sometimes because there's so much going on but yeah i have cool. a show in uh march and april mm -hmm. and then hopefully we have a movie coming up we're filming in the summertime for christmas yeah. <laughs> yes, i heard about that i heard about that <laughs> that's gonna be dope <laughs> no that's just be... we're everywhere we're working we're we're gonna be global for real global global for sure um so tyler how can we follow you on social media you can follow me on instagram at tyler is the best t-y-l-e-r-i-s-t-h-e b-e-s-s-t that's the only trick tyler is the b-e-s-s-t yes the best yes best because <laughs> yeah <laughs> Or you can follow me on Facebook and um, YouTube, Tyler Prince, P-R-Y-N-C-E. Got it, got it. Tyler, I want to play a game uh, called This or That. Um, it's so hard. It's not hard. It's not hard. I, I'll be I'll be really easy. Um, so I'll give you two words, two scenarios, two um, phrases, and then um, you tell me which one you better, better resonate with and why. Okay. Okay. I'm going to start off easy. Um New York pizza or LA tacos? You said you're gonna start off easy, and I'm a fatty. Okay, New York pizza. <laughs> okay, why New York pizza? Uh, mm, what a taco is calling my name right now, Lord. <laughs> One because I love bread, mm. uh, and the cheese. I don't know. Is New York pizza is just really good to me. I mean, L.A. tacos are real good, too. And yeah. because if you get them on the street and the right person, oh, that's going to gonna bust. But I'm going to go with pizza because I'm kind of craving a good slice of cheese pizza. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to just go with pizza. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> um, Whataburger or Chick-fil-A? Whataburger. That was, easy. that was the easy one that you should have started out with. Well, what a burger. <laughs> Probably one because I live in Georgia and they don't, well, they're getting a really? burger. Yeah. Say. So yeah. we'll see. It's going to be up north, though. It's going to be far. But I will drive for that because yeah. I thought about going to Alabama. <laughs> 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 That's how much I rock with what's a burger. I love what a burger. Um, okay. Okay. Um, I it. This is going to be a little hard. Usher or Chris Brown? Usher. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Usher. That was definitely easy. That it was okay. easier than I thought it was. Okay. Okay. Usher. Okay. Why well, Usher? Um, maybe because I have. Yeah, I'm gonna tell the story about Usher, and it doesn't even go with what's going on. But 
um, I went to a concert and I've seen Usher in concert about maybe two or three times. Mm -hmm. And there's one time I saw him, this is when he crossed over to pop and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And he was coming down, he was at the AC. He was coming down from the uh, ceiling. He was like, Houston! Oh. And everybody got quiet. Oh. He was like, oh, Dallas. But he picked it up since then, and he killed the show. Like, he did not let that stop him. I ain't Ooh. seen Chris uh, <laughs> in, in the heat like that. Uh, <laughs> no, but Usher is just really talented. And if there was no Usher, it would be no Chris Brown. Mm, okay. Music. Like, listen to his catalog. It's, it's Usher. Confessions? There's no Chris Brown has that. Doesn't have that. No. Gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> um... If you had a superpower, would you be would you rather be able to fly or be invisible? That that's the hard one. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say fly. Mm, why? I think I'm gonna say fly because I think I have the gift, if necessary, to be invisible. Mm -hmm. I think like I can uh I can be in a place that no one knows <laughs> sometimes and I catch things. Okay. But fly because I like to sleep to the last minute. <laughs> and if I could just get five more minutes and I could just right. fly to work or fly right. to where I need to be, right. I'd be fine. <laughs> That is hilarious. Well, Tyler, this is our game for that. Thank you for playing. <laughs> um, Tyler, congratulations on being one of our 40 under 40 at Urban Arts Magazine. I'm truly appreciative. I can't thank you enough. This is this is how the year starts, so I know the year is going to even just continue to be great. Thank you so much for having me. You're very welcome. You're very welcome. Hey, everybody, make sure you go follow She's over there. Make sure you go follow Tyler Prince. <laughs> Make sure that you uh, like all that she's doing. Hey, check out uh, College Boyfriends if you have not seen it. Um, and then um, make sure that you support, support, support. If you got a, any lighting design gigs, holler at her. Um, and let's just, just get her booked and all that good stuff and get checks on top of checks with more checks. Yeah. Um, this, this has been another episode of 40 Under 40 powered by Urban Arts Magazine. I'm your host, Giles. We'll see you next time. Peace.